Hey there everybody, Flick here again, and today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Instead of my usual gameplay videos nobody watches, I would put up a, uh, uh, a video explaining how to do some really simple, uh, but I think really cool effects in Audacity that maybe will enhance your, uh, your, your videos a little bit more. So you heard the track at the beginning, uh, what exactly it is you are going to get. Uh, so I guess spoilers, but this is how you do it. So you start off with a track that is actually pretty dorky like this. I am unleashed. Not really something you would put up on the internet because it doesn't sound cool in any way, but uh, we can make it cool. So first step, we want to clean up all that fuzzy crap in between uh, the actual vocals. We want to do this because we don't want to start uh, 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 enhancing that fuzz uh, as we add uh, effects in, which we will do if we don't uh, get it, get rid of it. So we're going to go ahead here noise removal, which is under effects. And it's a two-step process. The first step, we have to get our noise profile. It'll close it out. We'll go back up to effects, go back down to noise removal. And this time we'll say, OK. Now you notice it dramatically changes the appearance. But what it also changes is the fuzz, which the staticky fuzzy stuff should be gone. So we'll listen to it again. I am unleashed. Still really dorky, but at least it's clean now. So we're going to go back into effects. This time we're going to go into bass and treble. And we're just going to make this sound a little bit deeper, a little bit more menacing. Uh, depending on the, 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 how deep your voice is, you may want to change this bass setting. Uh, I'm going with a 12, which is not going to sound particularly human. But uh, if your voice is a little higher pitch, maybe go with an 8 to a 10. Uh, or excuse me, if your voice is lower pitch, you can go with 8 to 10. 12 is good for most people, though. So let's play this again and see what it sounds like now. I am... Unleashed! Alright, little pervy now, uh, but that's okay. This is going to be our baseline track, so now we're going to go to edit. We're going to go down to duplicate, because we want two of these. I'm going to mute one of them, and then I'm going to go back up here to the top one and just select our track. I'm going to go back to effect, and this time I'm going to go to change pitch, which is right under bass and treble. I'm not going to touch any of the other settings except for this down here, percent change. And I'm going to change that to negative 25. And this is going to have a pretty dramatic effect on the sound clip, you'll, you'll, you'll see that. This is, excuse me, this is what it sounds like now. I am unleashed. Okay, kind of cool, but it's not really an effect. You wouldn't really do anything with that. It just sounds like a guy who's made his voice really deep. But that's why we have two tracks. So we're going to go down to our second track and say effect again. Change pitch one more time. And this time we're going to change it to, I don't know, negative 10. And again, you can play with these values and find out what you like. This is what works for me. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm not going to play that for you because it's just a slightly less deep version of this one. Now that we have these two tracks together, I'm going to unmute both of them, select both of them, and go back to effect. This time I'm going to use the effect that pretty much makes this entire change work. I'm going to use phaser. Now you can see I've already got the settings changed here. What I did was I maxed out stages, which was originally set fairly low. I maxed out dry slash wet, which is also fairly low. I didn't touch the frequency or the start phase. I maxed out depth, and I didn't touch the feedback percent. So once you've done that, hit OK. It'll take a second to, well, it didn't take a second. It'll apply the effect. And then you will have your finished effect, which I think we can all agree sounds kind of cool. Sounds like this. I am unleashed. Definitely sounds like something from space or some kind of monster that's been in fire or something. Regardless of what you want to use it for, there you go. It's a pretty cool effect. It's really simple. It takes you all of, what, a minute to, to actually apply it. You can play around the settings, find out what works best for you. So, hey, I hope this was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.